We had all seven leads to create iconic costumes that they were gonna wear the entire show and had to be approved by directors, actors, and ourselves. I mean, we were tough on ourselves. We had to get this right. Isis is very smart in her approach on costume, and I think it always gives details to the costume that help the actor to find the character even more, which is really important to me. A good example is the costume she did for Barney, that the fabric is just looser for him, you know, portraying Matt, and it very much plays into the way that he moves, and he fully embraced it. Or for Rosamond, for instance, those shoulder pads out of leather, you know, which is like a little armor. You have the feeling like even alone makes her even stand up a little bit taller than she already stands up. I'm working on this bolero jacket from Moraine. This was the first prototype to try and give an idea of the sort of spirit of the piece. There's a toughness to her that she doesn't mess about. I always like the something beautiful, but it has a brutality in there. This is the approved belt for Nani. So it's like got a Two Rivers theme because she's the wisdom for the Two Rivers. And that's the river there. Blue wool is the water and the, the curve of the leather is the river bank. With all her little tools and kit on it, magic herbs and a dagger, obviously. It's amazing. Like, the wardrobe is just next level. The detail that goes into everything is yeah. incredible. For one of the characters, Matt, he has a belt that he wears across like that. He doesn't have a lot on it, but there's a little dice box. It's a little thing that kind of clips on. He's a gambler, so we wanted a little thing that shows that he carries them always with him. So we're just trying to work out how we can hide his ill-gotten gains around his person. When I first saw Lan's look, I saw the lookbook, which was one of the coolest days of, of this journey for me. I'd read Eye of the World at that point, so I had an idea of what he might look like. I'd looked up pictures online of who he was. Of course, fans have done an amazing job creating Lan artwork, but when I saw him drawn, it was actually me as Lan, which was crazy. And that was before I was cast. They used me as a, as a model, the artist did, which was crazy. And, um, and my heritage is Korean. I feel like we're a bit underrepresented. So it was, it was really important for me to add some Korean accents. A lot of the patterns and things came from research that Isis did in Korean culture, which is really sweet and amazing. And uh, it's, it's a special feeling to know that I actually had some input in, into his costume. The genius of this Isis Musundan is extraordinary. I mean, the detail in the artisans she's got working in their printing everything, hand printing everything. It's lovely, because actually what you're doing is you're keeping all those traditions alive. So all of this leather work and the jeweling and the print work, the screen printing, it's just all extraordinary. I'm very proud. I'm proud of my team. And it was spectacular. It was like such a culmination. I mean, I just couldn't even believe we got there. It was, a, it was a feat, let's just say that. <laughs>